Hey guys, my name is Moran Pober. I'm an entrepreneur and investor, and I help others become basically entrepreneurs and investors and buy an existing business, even if they never ran a business before or have millions of dollars in their bank account. I've been in business for more than 10 years now, and one of my best investments was an app company that I bought, turned around, and it became one of the top app in the App Store in more than 100 countries. It was in the top 100 overall apps next to I mean, it was pretty amazing, like above apps like Kindle and, and things like that, like Amazon apps, which was for me like insane. Um, and over the last few months, a year or so, I also helped many people do the same and go out there and buy an existing business, even if they never ran a business before or have millions of dollars in their bank account. And I looked at pretty much any industry you can think of, deals in hacking, any, literally any industry you can think of, hundreds of deals. And I help others do the same with buying existing businesses. I help them then with my capital, with my network, and obviously with my knowledge on how to do the process with mostly using other people's money, with using leverage, which most people don't know that's possible. So if you wanna learn about some of those things, definitely subscribe on all of my social media channels because I post videos regularly. Um, I also started a mentorship program where I show people how to do the same. And I work with just few individuals. I give them really access to me all the time. And that allows them to go out there and do those deals on their own, which I'm, I'm going to share with you some of the results in the, the next few minutes. And I then help them and potentially even partner with them on some of those deals passively or actively or just as a strategic advisor. But either way, it's an access. It's kind of like a filter to access my inner circle and network to potentially then do deals in the future together. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, I'll put the link somewhere in the, in the below this video. So today I want to talk to you about the benefits of buying an existing profitable business versus the benefits of starting the business from scratch and why I think buying a business, maybe I'm not objective anymore, but buying a business is so much better. And I've been in the shoes of starting businesses from scratch. So trust me, I know the difference and I want to share with you and we'll just go one by one and I'll share with you my thoughts. I'll try to be as objective as possible and I'll share with you all of those benefits on why starting a business is so much more riskier and buying something that's already existing can give you so much more benefits. So let's think about what a business will give you eventually, right? Or what is important in a business? So let's start with, I guess, one of the most important thing in business, which is customers, right? So let's compare starting a business from scratch versus buying an existing one. So when you start a business from scratch, you have no track record, no case studies, no testimonials, and it's really, really difficult to get a new client. Heck, I know many people who start a business from scratch, who work for free for many clients just to get those first case studies, that testimonials, and to prove themselves that they can even help the potential clients that they want to attract. And they need to work so hard, they need to learn marketing and sales in order to get that customer. And when they do, I mean, they don't even know what's the lifetime value of those customers, so they can't even know in, in, in initially like how much money they can even invest in marketing to bring that clients. And compare that to an existing business, let's say you go out there, you buy a business that's existing for five or 10 years, that business already have a list of hundreds of clients sometimes, and they're already existing there. You can use those clients to sell them new products or new services and have upsells and downsells because you have a data database of clients who already know you, already familiar with your business, and you already know also the marketing process to bring those clients. You know how much a client is worth you over a lifetime value. And when you have all that data, you're just much more powerful because then you can go and spend, let's say you know that the lifetime value, the lifetime value of their customers is worth thousand bucks. You can then spend on marketing just to bring that customer a lot more money than someone who just started a business and don't know that fact. And for him, maybe the front end product is just like 50 bucks. And you think, hey, if I spend more than 50 bucks to get a client, I, I'm, I can be profitable. So I hope you understand the difference of customers, how valuable, first of all, customers are for a business. And the difference between trying to get those customers from scratch and get the data on the value of a customer and how to get that customer versus buying an existing business who already have that data already have that process to bring those clients. And then if you have more ideas and more products that you want to sell to those lists, you can do that easily. You can then go and do joint ventures with other companies because you have something to offer in return. Now let's talk about the next thing in a business, right? Like employees, for example. 
employees, when you start a business from scratch, you just don't have the money. I mean, you're the only employee many times. And employees are nowadays probably the most important thing in business. Nowadays, there's no competition for anything unlike finding good employees because they can do things that you don't. They can do it much better. They can focus solely on mastering those things. So let's say people in marketing, in sales, in operations, in financials, all those different aspects in business. And when you start from scratch, you need to learn all those things from scratch, from basically to master a little bit of everything. And it's just so much more difficult. And heck, no employees will work with you if you don't have anything established. First of all, you don't have the money to pay, most likely, maybe with equity. But why would someone, I mean, to sell someone from working just for equity, for free for you, trust me, and I hope you believe me and you believe it, the fact that it's so much more easier to buy an existing business that already have revenues and profits to pay those employees. And obviously someone, if you have a brand recognition that is good out, people know you, trust you, like you, employees, good employees will come to you. And then as the owner of that business, as someone who just bought the business, you can many times even step back and become the owner investor or owner chairman and not being too much dependent and involved in the day-to-day if you don't want. And then you can basically be a deal maker and decide. You either go out there, do more deals if you like the idea of buying more businesses and build a portfolio, or you maybe just want to have this one nice business, lifestyle business, and then just live a great lifestyle and chill a lot, which um, for me, I just, I've been there. It's just boring. I just rather do and create and initiate. But um, everyone in their own choices, right? So that's the kind of like the next thing about customers, eh, employees, sorry. Now, let's talk about some more things in business, okay? So, obviously, probably the most important thing is revenues, right? And let's talk about profit as well. So, obviously, if you don't have revenues, you don't have sales, you don't have a business. Eh, Same with profit, right? When you start a business from scratch, you can't really take any income on a regular basis. I mean, to get to a point where you can take some steady uh, salary or I'm not even talking about dividends and things like that and bonuses, it's just impossible, right? Because you need to get to some threshold of revenues of sales before you can take money home as the as the founder, the, the, the someone who started that business, right? And when you buy an existing business, when you buy that business, you just bought a business from a different owner. And that owner used to take a yearly salary or dividends or whatever um, money, whatever way that he took money from his business, right? Now, think about the fact that now when you bought him, He's not working in the business anymore. So you can basically take whatever money he took every year. You can now take it. Obviously, yes, we can get into the details of, yeah, you need to pay maybe some debt service back if you used other people's money to buy the business. But still, you have money you can use to take that money home. And let's talk even, let's get even into more details. If you want to work in the day-to-day in that business, and let's say you replace someone else in that business, then you can take another salary, right? You see what I mean? So obviously, it really depends on your involvement in the deal. If you want to be more involved, obviously you'll take more uh, a steady regular income. If you prefer to have a better lifestyle and work less, you'll pay others to do some of the work. And then you will just take, like for me right now, I don't care about taking a steady income. For me, it's more about the dividends that I can take in the end of the year because I pay less taxes and potentially the exits, right? So you make, one of my mentors said to me that you only make real money on exit when you have capital events because that's where you can make like a few million dollars in cash into your bank account when you sell a business. When you run a business, I don't care how much, I mean, obviously, even if it's a really, really big business, it's just not worth it in terms of tax. And I'm not a tax expert, but it's just not worth it to take too much income while running the business. At the same time, if you sell the business and you know how to structure things well, that's where you can get the real, real bonuses, the real capital events, and really have those spikes in your wealth building creation plan. So that's about that. So after we went through all of those things, right, like customer, employees, list of clients, revenues, ways to bring in clients with marketing, brand recognition that you don't have when you start versus when you buy one. I just don't understand why people start businesses from scratch anymore, to be completely honest. Um, I think it's just because people don't know about it. That's why I'm creating those videos. Please share it with people who you think would love to, to hear about that. And it's just so much more smart to go into something that is existing, especially nowadays where there are so many baby boomers who are looking to go and retire and you can just be there and take their business. 
sometimes literally for free just because they're looking for someone they can trust. Um, and those deals are out there. There are millions of businesses out there for sale. Just write business for sale on Google and you'll see there are so many opportunities out there and there are so many few buyers just because people don't know about it. And that's what I want, want to open your eyes to. Um, and again, I don't want to talk about myself. I've done it. I've been in the business for many years now. Look at some of my clients. I mean, one of my guys, Dan Genzel, he did more than 30 deals. He raised more than eight figures in capital to do those deals. So he's using other people's money and not his own. And you don't need to have millions of dollars in the bank to do that. You don't need to have a lot of experience in running businesses because you buy a business with employees who can run those businesses for you. Obviously, you need expertise in running those businesses, but that expertise don't necessarily have to be yours. That's what I'm trying to explain here. So try to think if I missed anything or I want to add anything else. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to really go into the details of understanding more about my mentorship program and really making a decision, hey, this is what I want to do in life. Obviously, you want to learn more details, see links in the description below. I'm going to put links into more details about that. Or just go to moanpokar.com forward slash benefits. And I'm going to um, just, we're going to redirect you to the info there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I would really love to hear your thoughts. And if you like those videos or not or hate them, I don't know, just let, let me know. And yeah, that's, that's it for today, guys. Stay in touch with me on all social media platforms. We're going to post daily different content on every different platform. So yeah, stay in touch and uh, I'll see you soon.